Demand for air travel has fluctuated wildly over the last two decades, which left manufacturers of commercial aircraft grappling with uncertainty as they designed, built, and marketed their planes to airlines. Over the course of the last 20 years, the domestic and international travel industry had to contend with numerous challenges, including security threats stemming from terrorist activities, the 2008 financial crisis that forced companies to dramatically cut back on business travel, a prolonged period of record high energy prices, and two global health crises. The last of which brought with it a patchwork of travel restrictions that reduced passenger traffic in airports by as much as 96% in early 2020 compared to a year prior. Airbus and Boeing are the world's leading manufacturers of commercial airliners and fierce cross-Atlantic rivals since the 1990s. Competing in the same markets for the same clients, it is no surprise that their fortunes have shown similar trends since 2001. Let's overlay their cumulative deliveries to airlines over the last 20 years and compare the results. Airbus introduced the A380 in 2008 and the A350 in 2015 on their way to delivering nearly 11,000 planes during this period. The pace of deliveries picked up noticeably since 2015, with 2019 being their strongest year, when a total of 863 planes left their factories. Boeing only introduced a single new plane during this period with the 787 Dreamliner, making its debut in 2011. Boeing was leading Airbus in total deliveries as recently as 2018, but ended 2021 with fewer than 10,000 deliveries. Technical issues on the 787, including fuel leaks and fires linked to faulty wiring, led to fewer than 160 deliveries in 2020 and market share loss to Airbus. Let us know in the comments who you think will deliver the most planes over the next decade. Also, let us know your ideas for future videos. See you next time.